What is up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look and walking you through it step by step. This is very bright green, colorful, fun, super smoky eye. I love this look for this time of year because I feel like it's just a brighter, more colorful twist on a classic smoky green smoky eye. So yeah, I'm walking you through it step by step, but additionally, I'm also doing kind of like a first impressions review, testing out some new summer makeup that was sent to me in the mail. And also before we jump right in, the first part where I'm showing you my foundation and I think up to my bronzer, I forgot to turn my microphone on. So the audio isn't 100%. It's still there. It's just annoying because you can hear my lens focusing, but the whole video isn't like that. It's just the first little bit of the video. So I just wanted to let you know because in case it's annoying, it won't be like that for long. So my apologies. But yeah, I definitely had some hits. I had some not necessarily misses, but just a couple of things that I have to give a second chance because they weren't performing 110% of how I feel like it should be performing. But I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna walk you through this look step by step. Please subscribe and let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with the Lawless Set the Stage Primer. This is my favorite. I am gonna be trying a new foundation so I want to make sure that uh, the primer that I'm using is the same because then you just have a better idea of how the foundation performs it's consistent so the foundation I have here is the new Too Faced Born This Way healthy glow moisturizing skin tint I have the shade light beige they sent this over with a couple of other colors and I think that this one is gonna work pretty well so I'm gonna shake this up because it seems kind of watery and like fluidy and go from there so it's got one of these like little droppers do one of these that didn't focus did it that's cool <laughs> i'm gonna be using a brianna fox and sigma fox 4 brush and start buffing this in on the skin this is like the perfect color perfect color and ooh, that finish it gives like a little glow but it also kind of gives like a soft matte consistency very thin too and not too like thick I wish I was doing my makeup earlier in the day because I would be so curious to see how this lasted wow my first impression is uh, I'm really liking this this is beautiful it's very easy easy to blend I feel like a little goes a long way but also I'm using a lot too if that makes sense but it's not like building up too much either i don't know how to explain it i don't know it's just it's really nice also this doesn't have like any sort of weird scent at all i feel like too faced just loves to put scent and fragrance in all of their products um this doesn't have anything like it just it just smells like nothing i oh i love that so refreshing because they just overdo it with the scent that sometimes the products will look good and I want to use it, but I just can't because it like burns my eyes from the fragrance. Um, so loving this so far. I will keep you posted on this because I have a feeling that I'm going to be wearing this a lot because it's just a nice lightweight option for summertime, especially. And it's not too over the top glowy, but like it's got like, like the light is hitting off of it. So it looks very natural. I feel like it looks like I'm not wearing anything on my face. So so far, so good. I will keep you posted on this in future videos. And I'm gonna be using, I don't have a new concealer to try, so I'm just gonna be using the True Skin uh, Concealer. One of my favorites. And I wanna use my Beauty Blender today. I always switch between my Beauty Blender and then just my foundation brush to blend out my concealer. But a lot of times I don't use my beauty blender just because I forget to go <laughs> wet it under the water. So next, this isn't new. I used it in my last video, but I feel like I don't use it all that often. I feel like I've only used it a couple times. It's the Makeup by Mario Cream Bronzer. I have this shade medium. This is beautiful. It's not too dark. It's not too cool toned. It has some warmth to it, but it's not too orangey or anything. It's a beautiful color so I'm gonna use that to cream contour today using my Smith 157 brush and just popping this right on the cheekbone bring this up on the forehead ah you know what I'm gonna use my little clips I always forget that I've got these little hair clips 
And then I'm gonna take it directly on my jawline. I'm gonna blend that out. I do that there just because then it um, applies more product. Did I turn this on? I'm so sorry, that audio when my mic isn't on is the worst. I'm so glad I've realized now and not uh, 30 minutes into filming. So, my apologies. And then let's do the nose. And the lips. And I'm just gonna use my finger to blend this out. I just put Miracle Grow in my plants today. I did this, uh, I think only one time last summer and they just like, grew like va -voom, within like a couple of days. I have to keep reminding myself that it's only the beginning of June because they are not like doing that this year and I, I haven't used the Miracle Grow yet, but I just put it in and I cannot wait to see them just like poof. Yeah, I have to keep reminding myself that it is only June. Like we've had such beautiful weather that we were able to plant flowers early. I'm excited for them to come to life. Man, I'm so bummed that the mic was off. Ah, oh, that's okay, that's okay. At least there's like n not like non-existent audio because it's not like I can refilm that anyways. It was a first impression. Anyways, um, next I have a new blush that I wanna try. This is from Rare Beauty. I've tried her cream blushes before, but I don't know if this is a new one or just I don't have it. This is the color Joy. Um, it looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous, bright color. Um, now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, I don't know. Should I do something more neutral? No, let's do that. Let's do that. It just looks like a beautiful, bright, orangey peach. Everything has been sticking to me today. Like, I have had hair just like stuck and intertwined on my arms all day long and it's been driving me insane. I was at the gym doing leg raises on my back you know, where you lay back and raise your legs for your abs. Um, I had hair like woven in between like my shoe and my ankle and it was tickling me like, and I've had something like on my eye in like multiple places. What is on my face? I'm gonna go crazy. Anyways, this comes out. I know underneath the product, there's a heart there. I just love Selena's brand. She's like, She's got it going on. I wanna use my Hollywood complexion brush for this, which is this one here. So I'm gonna just do that. That might be too much. We will see. It's a little much, oh my gosh. It'll blend though, it'll look good. Bring it up. Yeah, that's perfect. And the forehead. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm gonna go in and just re-brighten the under eye. Oh, that's such a beautiful color. It's like, even though I just blended out that other side, just seeing how pigmented and how bright it is at first, like my heart drops. <laughs> Blendy blend. Okay. Okay, I freaking love that blush. I cannot wait to use that again, especially in conjunction with the foundation that I used. I love these. I feel like everything is just looking so good right now. I'm, I love this. Love, 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 love this. I'm gonna use my normal powder and powder my face, but I'm gonna use my beauty blender. And then just dust it away. I'm gonna do powder bronzer. No, I'm gonna use the Vive bronzers. I really love these and I just don't use them enough. It's such a beautiful product. I like to mix them together and apply it on the face. I'm gonna use Bone Beige from MAC to contour and I wanna use the NARS Eda brush again. I just had so much fun using this the other day. I don't even remember what video I used this in, but I have it sitting out here still and I think I'm just gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring this bad boy back. I really need to buy another Bone Beige. It is my favorite, favorite, favorite contour color. It's so beautiful, so flattering on my skin tone. And now I have this new blush from Lawless, but it's very pinky. I kind of want to try it though as a topper. I'm just loving this peachy color though. But let's try it out. This is the color Watermelon from Lawless. I think I'm just going to do a little, just a little tap. 
Okay, that's cute. That's really cute. I like it. And I think this is more of, it, it's giving more of like sheerness, but I think with the cream blush underneath, it really is popping more than it would if that wasn't under, underneath, but I do like the color. I don't have a new highlight, so I'm just gonna use my favorite right now, Champagne Pop. Put this on the cheekbones. And then use my finger for the nose and the cupid's bow. Okay, face is done, I believe, right? I think so. Let me just spray my face. Do the eyes. I literally just spent like 500 years exactly doing my eyebrows. I took them off <laughs> and then did them again and I'm still not happy with the way that they look, but it just, it is what it is. We're just gonna have to move on because I can't do my brows any longer. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> um, let me just run through them really quickly with some brow gel because that's gonna help them look less filled in and more realistic. <sighs> Moving on, finally. <laughs> um, I need to prime my eyes. I'm gonna be using the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. Put this all over the lid. And then I'll set that with some powder. For my eyeshadow today, I really wanna use the 420 palette from Melt Cosmetics. I don't think I've used this yet. They sent this a long time ago. Um, it has that like feeling to it, which is really cool. Yeah, these look freshly brand new. You already know I'm gonna hop into this for my first fall makeup tutorial. You just wait and watch. I'm gonna get crazy with this side come fall um but we're gonna stick over here today i want to do like a very dramatic like colorful green look and these look glorious i'll probably also pop into smoke sessions one of my other favorite palettes but i'm gonna need the matte colors from this one for sure and then probably do some of these shimmers from this one this one isn't new this is just an all-time favorite of mine so let's get crazy all of my brushes are dirty what else is new First and foremost, I'm gonna start off with Shotgun, which is this bright lime green color. So I'm just gonna pick that up on my brush. And we're gonna bring this right in the crease. Oh, this is so pretty already. I am so excited. By the way, I'm not much of a color person for my nails. And I got this hot pink color last time. Thought that I was gonna regret it. And I have been loving the color. Um, so I have an appointment in a couple of days to go. And I think I'm gonna get like an orange, I think. We shall see. I think it's just cause it's summertime and I'm, I'm doing colorful things more. Okay, I'm also gonna take that color underneath. So I'm gonna look upwards with my eyes, keep my chin down. And then I think I'm gonna hop over into wax, which is the bright yellow shade over on this side and use that to help blend this out even more and add a little bit more intensity. Okay, and now I'm gonna switch over to Faded, which is just a little bit darker than this bright lime green color. And I'm gonna work on intensifying the green. So I'm bringing it here on the outer lid and the crease. And then I'm gonna grab some Chronic, which is the shade here. Same thing, I got a little bit of a smaller brush and I'm gonna focus this more so on the lid here on the outer part. So I usually love melt eyeshadows, but for whatever reason, these ones just do not wanna blend today. I don't know. Like I'm having a really hard time mending the shades together, which is odd. But I think once I get the shimmery color on, we should be good. Now I'm gonna switch over to Smoke Sessions, which you're very familiar with, I'm sure, because I've used it so many times. Um, I'm gonna grab Space Queen, which is like this deep, almost like a teal blue green color. And I'm gonna focus that right on the outer corner, like right in here. Be very cognizant of the fallout. You can see I'm getting fallout here, but I'm gonna Dust that away. Ooh, yes, really building that up there to get 
really, really smoky. See, this one's already blending so much better. Um, I don't know what's going on with those other ones, but it's okay because they're the peak behind shades, you know? They're not like the star of the show, I feel. But I love the shades that they are, so that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, I have to hop back into 420. My apologies, just popping all over the place. I'm going to grab this color here, faded, and pop this. We're gonna sneak this right here in the crease, right in the pocket, and wiggle this very strategically to keep this low and not drag that deep dark color upwards. Keeping everything low here. Same on this side. And then go in with the first shade on the fluffiest brush and blend that out. Maybe even some of that yellow, like over here we're getting a little crazy. I think that'll get fixed when I do the highlight. Okay, before I move forward, I'm just gonna highlight my brow bone just to see what I'm working with here. And then highlight the inner corner as well. Okay, I'm gonna go into Blue Dream and then Sweet Tooth. So Blue Dream is gonna go on the front half, this is gonna go on the second half, and create like a fun little bright green look. Spray it with some setting spray. Oh yeah. And then I'm gonna go into Sweet Tooth right next to it. Same thing. Pop this in the center. Oh, this color is just so pretty. So pretty, ugh. Okay, I think I wanna try this today. This is kind of random. I have used this before, it looks like. I don't remember. Um, this is Leaf Me Alone from the Block Party Shadows from Dose of Colors. I'm gonna dig my finger into this and this is what it looks like. I'm gonna just dot this over here and see what happens. Okay, that pretty much just gave like a sparkle to the color that was already there. Oh my God. I just set my mirror down and it like bounced off a brush that was on the table and it went flying and like spinning. It was great. Um, now I don't have anything to wipe my hands on. Why do I do this? I need to bring up some paper towels up here. So I actually have something to clean my hands with. I'm just grabbing the darkest shade on a Fox 3 brush from my brush set. And I'm looking up with my eyes, chin down, and popping this right at the lash line just to give me some definition right there. Don't drag this down too far because it'll get too smoky. And then I'm gonna use Chronic Mixed with Faded on the same brush. I'm gonna go basically right over top of that and that's gonna help blend this out. I'm not going underneath it because if I do that, then it's gonna bring it downwards even further and we wanna keep this as close as we can to the lashes because we can always drag it further if we need to. But once it's down there, it's down there. Okay, in the waterline, I'm gonna go into the Rimmel Nude Scandalize Liner, my favorite. Now, finally, we can move on to something different. Um, I'm gonna go into the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eye Liner, my favorite liquid liner, and create a very dramatic wing. Okay, I applied some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And then I'm putting on these lashes from Velour in the style Friends Wisp Benefit. And now I just need to cover up the liner just so that there isn't a disconnect between the winged liner and the lash line. Lower lash mascara. I really need to go and get the MAC Extended Play Lash Mascara. I have just, I've really been missing it and I need to just do it. I need to place a, like a whole MAC order. But right now I'm on a no buy. So maybe after that or 
I don't know. I want to try this from Makeup Forever. This is completely sepia. We're going to try this out and see what this looks like. I'd like to try this from Makeup Forever as well. This is in the color 190. It's the Rouge Artist Forever Matte. It looks like it's a liquid lipstick. I have these in my collection. I have a couple colors, but I can't recall if I've ever used them before. I feel like I have, but it's been a long time. So this looks like a peachy nude, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So let's try this out. Mm-hmm. That was like exactly the color that I was looking for. I wanted something very peachy. I'm gonna add a little bit of this Tom Ford first time lipstick just to the center, just to have a little brightness. You probably won't even be able to tell. Okay, I think that we are done. Finally, this took me a really long time to film. I had a lot of obstacles, but um, just like technical obstacles. Um, but this is the final look. I've done similar eye looks before because I've used this Smoke Sessions palette multiple times, but it was fun adding in for 20. Um, I'm kind of nervous now to use the other side of it because of the way that they performed today, but we will give it another shot. I did a lot thicker eyeliner than I normally do, and I'm kind of liking it now that everything's all together. I think it's a whole vibe and I like the peachy lip. I think that this is such a fun, summery, bold look. You can obviously tone this down as much as you need to make it wearable for you. But for me, I just love this and I can't wait to wear this look out this summer. I always end up doing this a version of this look around this time of year just because it's kind of like just a twist on your classic smoky green makeup look um, because of the unique shades of the lid I feel like those bring out a little bit more turquoise um, this is actually reminding me of this book cover here this is one of my favorite books of all time this is the house across the lake by riley sager this would have been a good look to do for books and makeup looks i'm actually considering rereading this towards the end of summer side note but anyways i want to give a quick roundup on the products that i use today Hands down, I, where did I put it? The foundation? Over here, I really love this foundation from Born This Way, the Healthy Glow um, Moisturizing Skin Tint. Love it, and the color was perfect. Again, I had the shade Light Beige. I'm excited to see how this wears. So far, just based on today and based on doing this tutorial by now i mean i've been feeling filming for a long time and by now i would have been a grease ball and had to like retouch up my makeup just because of the length of time it's been and in front of these lights i get so hot and like just overheated and greasy and so far so good i'm very curious to see how someone with dry skin would like this because it seems like it's going to be such a universal kind of product um so stay tuned for more check-ins with this in future videos because so so far so good I love like it feels like I don't have anything on my face right now and I haven't a lot of makeup so love 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 this and then um the other standout product for me is the rare beauty blush in joy I just found this to be so beautiful and even my cheeks I feel like just look really natural um again and I have on like a hundred pounds of makeup um but I feel like the color works so good with this makeup look today and just the way that it blended out so easily especially for being so pigmented I just love this the color's so beautiful so um I'll definitely have to try out more of her blushes Again, I already told you my thoughts on 420. I need to play with this more um, just because the blend wasn't happening. It ended up working out fine once I had the lid shades on. So maybe that's it. I just think underneath it wasn't giving what I needed it to. Um, but oh, just stay tuned for fall, you guys. That is going to be so beautiful. What other new thing did I use? That, that was me. Oh, and the Lawless Blush. This actually turned out to be beautiful. The texture was something that I wasn't... I don't know, this didn't really like grab my attention when I first looked at it, but applying it on my face, I liked it. So I'll have to try this again too, just to give a more comprehen comprehensive review. But 
um yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you liked this let me know if you want more like testing new makeup videos um to be honest they're kind of gonna be few and far between just because i haven't been in a makeup buying mood the reason why i have this today is because these brands were so thoughtful and sent these products to me so yeah <laughs> i hope that you liked this i hope you like the look if you end up recreating it please tag me on instagram or send me a dm with your look actually just send me a dm i think i have my tags off actually um and i've been saying tag me in your photos yeah i have them off <laughs> my apologies um but yeah send me your looks on instagram i would love to see them and that's it for this video thank you so much for hanging out with me today please subscribe and i will see you soon bye